Hey friends! In this lesson we're going to talk about variables and constants. So before we get into that, I just want to show you a really good resource um, that's from Rick Carlino on GitHub. You can see I forked it here myself just because um, it's good resources like this. I like to fork just so I have my own copy that I know is, uh, is not going to you know, get changed or get deleted or anything like that. So, um, but uh, yeah, it's got, it's got a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that we covered or that we will cover in this course and just a lot of useful, useful like commands and, and words and stuff for fourth. So cool resource. Uh, if you just search G fourth underscore cheat underscore sheet uh, in whatever search engine, it should be at least one of the top results and it'll probably be this Rick Carlino one. So cool resource. Just wanted to share that with you. Where'd my mouse go? There we go. So let's uh let's get into variables and constants. So uh, in in fourth, a variable is kind of special because it's a way of going outside of the stack. So you know we know how fourth is very stack oriented. Um, with a variable, you can store a value in the variable instead of storing it on the stack. The main difference between variables and constants, variables are, uh, they, can, they can be changed. They can change um, as you're, you know, throughout your programming. But constants, once you set them, uh, they, can't, they can't be changed the rest of the program. So uh, let's declare a variable. So to declare a variable, you just use the variable word and then uh, you give it a name. So now we have a variable named ABC. And uh, basically, so fourth works just like, or similar to C, where uh, the variables are basically pointers to memory locations, and then you're gonna store the value in that memory location and just use the variable as a pointer. So uh, if we actually put in our variable name into the interpreter, our memory location gets put on the stack instead of the, instead of the uh, value of the variable. And, Right now, this variable doesn't have a value anyway, but uh, that's that's what's going to happen even if it does have a value. Um, and here's what let's assign it a value. So <clears throat> that's how you assign a, a value to a variable. Um, basically, you you put in the variable's name. So I'll, I'll go through that step by step. But um, uh, so there's a value. So it, let me just let's. This is really cool, so I want to make sure I'm explaining this right. So, okay, there's nothing on stack, so uh, let's create a new variable. Variable uh, zen, just because 10 and zen, yeah, that's why. I don't know. My brain. <laughs> so, okay, there's nothing on the stack, still. We have our variable zen. We put a 10 on the stack, and then uh, we put our variable's memory location on the stack, right? And then this exclamation point word basically takes the top two values of the stack. The top one, it considers a memory address and the, bot, the lower one, it, uh, it assigns that value to that memory address. So that's how, that's how you assign a value to a variable. It's, it just makes so much sense, right? It's very clear exactly what it's doing. Um, and you don't have to, this is why fourth is brilliant. Like you don't need to, you, we can, you can put that, you know, these different things on different lines, whichever different lines we want or make them happen at different times. It's, it's just really brilliant. So, uh, if you want to see the value of a variable, oh, I used ABC instead of Zen. That's okay. Uh, you just do a question mark and it'll give you the value. And what that does is puts that memory address location and then uh, on the stack and then this question mark just looks at the top value on the stack as a memory location and goes and sees what value is stored there. Um, if you want to, instead of putting the variable's memory location on the stack, if you want to put its value, you use the at symbol. So now, uh, now there's a 10 on the stack because we put its value instead of its memory location. And uh, one more, if you want to um, there's something in there's something with a lot of most programming languages that 
Uh, it's called sh like shadowing. I think that's what it's called most of the time. Uh, and it's where, uh, it's like this, uh, ABC equals ABC plus 10 or something like that. So it's where you can use a variable to add the variable to itself basically. Um, and you can do that in fourth too. So the way you do that is with this word, it's the plus and then the exclamation point. So uh, what do we have on our stack? We have a 10 on the stack. So we'll say we want, and uh, our value of ABC is 10. Still just a 10 on the stack, right? Yep, so uh, let's say we want to add four to that. Or, um, yeah, so we'll put a four on the stack. We wanna, and then we put um, our variables memory location on the stack. And then the this is gonna go to that memory location, look at the value, and then add the that value to the second value on the stack. So it sh we should get 14. And and then it's gonna it's gonna put that value not back on the stack, but it puts it in that memory address location. So you can see it took those top two values off the stack. And if we look at our variables um, value now, you see it's 14. So that's uh, that's pretty good summary of variables. Constants uh, they're uh, they're declared similarly to um, variables with just the word constant instead of variable, uh, and then um, you name it. <clears throat> and it, so it takes the top value on the stack. Now with a constant. Um, we can't change that value now. So if we try to go, um, this doesn't really make sense in interpreted mode. Like, but if we were actually writing a program, this would, uh, oh, we can redefine it, I guess, but, um, we couldn't do something like, like that where it's gonna, you know, shadow it or anything like that. I don't think it's, Basically, it's supposed to stay the same the whole time throughout the program. Um, nothing is going to be able to change it um, unless you do it explicitly, like I just did. Um, constants they don't uh, they don't represent a location in memory like variables do. So if if I put um, eleven d one into the interpreter so that it puts it on the stack, it actually puts um, that value of that variable, of that constant, I'm going to redefine that because I want it to be 11 to 1, not 11 to 12, or 11 to 2. So, yeah, it, as you can see, it, it puts that, um, <clears throat> 111 on the stack. What that, what that means with a constant is you can actually just use a constant just like you would use a number value. So um, instead of like a, with a variable, um, if you want to use the value in a variable, you have to, you know, do that. Uh, with a constant, you can just use, uh, so we should get 121 here. Oh wait, what did I just do? Oops. Man, off my game tonight. 121. All right, so at least at least the, the interpreter's doing stuff right. That's when we got to worry. Um, all right, so that that's actually sums everything up with variables and constants. They're pretty simple. So, I mean, as with any programming language, it's a simple concept. So, um, you can see, though, it's interesting in fourth that even though variables and constants are a way to kind of sidestep the stack, they still use the stack very, very, very heavily. So that it's it's just a very stack-oriented language, and uh, I think that's pretty cool about it. So, in the next video, we're going to look at arrays. So stick around, um, subscribe, like, you know, or thumbs up or whatever it is on YouTube. So thanks for watching. See you later.